Smoking is a harmful habit that can lead to severe health complications and death. When a person quits smoking, the body will start to naturally heal and regain the vitality of non-smoker over time. The sooner a smoker quits, the faster they will reduce the risk of cancer, heart and lung diseases and other conditions related to smoking. The benefits are almost instant. In this video, we are going to know that what changes come to your body when you stop smoking. Let's start quickly. After 1 hour, in as little as 20 minutes after the last cigarette is smoked, the heart rate drops and returns to normal. Blood pressure begins to drop and circulation may start to improve. After 12 hours, after just 12 hours without a cigarette, the body cleanses itself of the excess carbon monoxide from the cigarettes. The carbon monoxide level returns to normal, increasing the body's oxygen level. After one day, just one day after quitting smoking, the risk of heart attack begins to decrease. In as little as one day after quitting smoking, a person's blood pressure begins to drop, decreasing the risk of heart diseases from smoking-induced high blood pressure. In this short time, a person's oxygen levels will have risen, making physical activity and exercise easier to do, promoting heart-healthy habits. After two days, smoking damages the nerve endings responsible for the senses of smell and taste. In two days after quitting, a person may notice a heightened sense of smell and more vivid tastes as these nerves heal. After three days, three days after quitting smoking, the nicotine levels in a person's body are depleted. While it is healthier to have no nicotine in the body, this initial depletion can cause nicotine withdrawal. Around three days after quitting, most people will experience moodiness and irritability, severe headaches and carvings as the body readjusts. After one month, in one month a person's lung function begins to improve. As the lungs heal and lung capacity improves, former smokers may notice less coughing and shortness of breath. Athletic endurance increases and former smokers may notice a renewed ability for cardiovascular activities such as running and jumping. After one to three months, for the next several months after quitting, circulation continues to improve. After nine months, Nine months after quitting, the lungs have significantly healed themselves. The delicate hair-like structures inside the lungs, known as cilia, have recovered from the tall cigarette smoke took on them. These structures help push mucus out of the lungs and help fight infections. Around this time, many former smokers notice a decrease in the frequency of lung infections because the healed cilia can do their job more easily. After one year, one year after quitting smoking, a person's risk for coronary heart disease decreases by half. This risk will continue to drop past the one year mark. After five years, cigarettes contain many known toxins that cause the arteries and blood vessels to narrow. These same toxins also increase the likelihood of developing blood clots. After five years without smoking, the body has healed itself enough for the arteries and blood vessels to begin to widen again. This widening means the blood is less likely to clot, lowering the risk of stroke. The risk of stroke will continue to reduce over the next 10 years as the body heals more and more. After 10 years, after 10 years, a person's chances of developing lung cancer and dying from it are roughly cut in half compared with someone who continues to smoke. The likelihood of developing mouth, throat, pancreatic cancer has significantly reduced. After 15 years, after 15 years of having quit smoking, the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease is the equivalent of a non-smoker. Similarly, the risk of developing pancreatic cancer has reduced to the same level as a non-smoker. After 20 years, after 20 years, the risk of death from smoking-related causes, including both lung diseases and cancer, drops to the level of a person who has never smoked in their life. Also, the risk of developing pancreatic cancer has reduced to that of someone who has never smoked. This was all for now. For more videos and updates, subscribe to Healthy Primex and ring the bell icon. Thanks for watching.